Hey, what's going on, guys? We got an interesting question here. Maybe we can all pull together and help Stacy out. She just signed up to our newsletter list, and she wanted to know um, what my, you know, the biggest uh, thing that's made the biggest impact in my health. And so I thought, you know what? Let's do a video about that because I want to share a little bit about this. And um, one of the biggest things and most simple things that I I've done in my life that's made a tremendous impact in my health is uh, food combining. And it's one of the most simple ways that you can change your diet and um, really impact your health in an awesome way is uh, combining certain foods together. And it's a great introduction. It's a great way to to get into the world of health and natural health. So the idea behind food, food combining, if you're not familiar with it, uh, you can pick up a book called, um, let's see, um, Fit for Life by Harvey Diamond. And I read this a quite a while back uh, in 2002 or something like that. It's, it's actually what, what catapulted me into natural health and natural healing uh, at the very beginning. And so the idea is, is not eating certain foods together. Uh, the Gracie family, who I'm a big, I'm a big fan of. I used to train jujitsu at one of Hoist Gracie's school. The Gracie family, they're a part of the UFC. They started the UFC basically. Um, they have a tremendous track record with longevity in their family. And, uh, and, and, and they do a version of uh, food combining as well. But the idea is, is not combining certain foods together. So when you eat, let's say, um, let's say you have pasta, right? It's a processed carbohydrate. Your body's going to have to produce certain enzymes and certain amounts of stomach acid, release bile of certain kinds to break down pasta, a processed carbohydrate like that. But then if you also eat meat with that, then your body also has to produce a different set of enzymes um, to break down the meat. And so typically when you have, um, according to the book Fit for Life and some of uh, the work of Arnold Errett, uh, who wrote a book called Mucusless Diet Healing System and Rational Fasting, a uh, tremendous guy. But when you eat a certain type of food, like let's say you just have cooked meat, for example, um, it, it might take your body eight hours or six to eight hours for that meat to leave your stomach, right? And so... If you also have bread with that, if you had eaten bread at the same time, or I'm sorry, if you had eaten bread separately in a separate meal on a different day, it might take your body you know, six hours or so, five hours, four hours for that bread to leave your stomach. But if you eat them together in one meal, your body isn't able to adequately process enough enzymes to break the meat down as well as break the bread down. So what happens, at least according to the theory now, um, and I've, I've I put this into practice, so at least anecdotally for me, it's something that I still I, I still practice today. But um, when you combine those two foods together, it's too many combinations of different types of foods in one meal. So your body isn't able to create enough enzymes to break both of those down. So what happens is that your body only digests parts of that. So you so your body may only di or your 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 body may only process maybe 70% of that. The rest of it becomes uh putrefactic pre what's the right word? putrefactive matter. So it putrefies basically, at least according to these books. Now, I haven't cut anybody open. I like to um I I really like to know exactly what's going on in every person before making dietary generalities and platitudes like this, but this is what the theory says, right? So the few, the food putrefies and um, your body's unable to process that and that's what sort of gums us up. So we eliminate maybe 70% of that. We don't fully absorb the nutrients out of that because um, so much stress and burden has been put on our digestive system. Um, and so the other 30% becomes impacted in our colons and in our guts. So this is an interesting theory and I can tell you this, that I feel much better when I food combine. Um, I feel like I'm able to, food is lighter for me, whether I'm eating cooked meat or some sort of raw meat or whether I do uh, fruit alone on an empty stomach. So something that I do is, uh, is I eat, um, like breakfast typically for me, I'll get up and drink about 25, 26 ounces of water and then I'll have some, uh, you know, I'll wait about 30 minutes and then I'll have some fruit. Um, and, I, and it's best if you can do mono meals on fruit too, where you just have one type of fruit and see how you do with that and see how your body processes that. And then um, after that, I might have like a, my version of a bulletproof coffee um, or I might have some snacks. And so I still try to food combine. And 
if I'm going to have like Ogenus von der Planus would eat raw meat. And when he ate raw meat, he wouldn't have uh, raw vegetables with it. But when you eat cooked meat, he said it's important to eat raw vegetables, to have like a salad with it. Um, so these are some ideas about food combining and not eating food at a certain time as well is a really, really interesting idea propagated by a good friend of ours, Adam Bergstrom. So if you combine the two theories of food combining along with uh, eating food at certain times, then you really can build yourself a diet that is completely non-restrictive because you can eat anything you want. It's just eat them in the right, at the right time and in the right combination. And you can almost eat anything you want. And so it's an interesting idea. I haven't played as much with the food uh, diet in terms of uh, the solar nutrition that we've done with Adam Bergstrom. I've done a little bit with that and I do a little bit of that just unconsciously, but I've done a lot with the food combining and I think you may want to try that. So uh, fruit, you always want to eat by itself. Melon, according to the theory, you want to eat, um, you don't want to mix your melons. So watermelon and cantaloupe or rock melon and other types of melons you want to eat separately as well. Um, so try that. I'm, cur I'm curious to see what your results are with food combining and how it could help. But the idea with these two combinations of food combining with um, solar nutrition is really, really interesting because you don't have to restrict your diet at all. You can eat almost anything you want just at the right time and in the right combination. So something you may want to uh, consider and look at if you're looking to change your life and change your diet um, in a way that doesn't restrict your food uh, intake. So in any event, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in um, these types of videos and content, we've done about 400 shows so far on Extreme Health Radio. So if you want to join our newsletter list, you can do that by texting the word get healthy to 33444. And uh, you can join our newsletter list. I send you a great bonus, a $20 ebook just for signing up, as well as an audio program about one simple trick that I use to overcome my previous addictions to processed carbohydrates like pasta and pizza and all that kind of stuff. So um, I, I really thought that was powerful, powerful stuff that I shared there. So uh, if you want that, you can text the word get healthy to 33444. Comment below and I'd love to hear your thoughts about food combining if they've if it's helped you. So thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next video.